But what is it? means that I'm getting crazier. So much. I dream about you every night. Prove that I'm not starting to hallucinate you, too. You're not. How have you been? Okay, free. I, I don't know what to say. Lulu, I don't want to interfere with your recovery. It's not your fault that I got sick. I. This is something that I was born with. It's been inside of me. But I want you to get better. That's why I can't come back. You don't have to listen to that. Your love makes me stronger. It's what keeps me going. I don't know what's going to happen, Lulu, but I know I love you, and I want you to have a great life, even if I'm not in it. Luke Spencer, you have been... No sign of the overzealous mental health enforcers? The master of Stealth has succeeded in infiltrating... Certainly, there's not a whole lot of people trying to break into the Looney Bin. No offense. What are you guys doing back here? We came to prove to you that although you're not the most stable person on the planet, you're not completely bonkers, and you definitely didn't write those threatening notes to yourself. The Jackal has availed himself of a handwriting analysis program designed by law enforcement. How did you get access to that? Well, no system can outmatch the Jackal. I'm, I'm... Back to the subject at hand. Indeed, literally. <laughs> as real as your suffering is, Fair Lulu, and as varied its manifestations, it is... Not possible that you wrote this note yourself. Bad idea to see Ludo out of Shady Brook today. You having me followed now? What do you expect? You go out in the harbor and you play chicken with Jason Morgan's ships. A stuff like that could bring repercussions. Johnny, some of the choices that you make often have bigger consequences than you think. That's why I've been monitoring Lulu's situation at Shady Brook since she got chipped in. Since when do you care about Lulu's well-being? I care about you. Never forget I was the one who brought you up, and I've always protected you. <laughs> sure, Anthony and I seem to be on the outs for the moment, but nobody ever lives forever. And sooner or later, you're gonna be in charge. You don't need Lulu Spencer to drag you down. Mental disorders are broken down into three different categories. Well, main categories. The first one is anxiety disorder, like phobias, such as irrational fears of situations or things. Uh, like, like clowns, for, for, for instance, would strike fear into the most stout-hearted of men. Spinelli. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, the, the next one is mood disorders, which is where your symptoms fall. De depression, fatigue, and in your case, I, I think an uncommonly big heart. See, I'm of the humble opinion that it is, your, it is your depth of care and sorrow which has led to emotional exhaustion or a mental breakdown, but there, there's no sign of psychotic disorder, which is the third and most dire category. No schizophrenia or multiple personality. I guess I should be thankful for a small favor. <sighs> the point is, Miss Sorrow and Pity, if this is your one and only personality, then you can't be using handwriting that's not yours, right? Yes, it is most unlikely if the blonde ones would gaze at the program that i've brought up here it's a comparison of your handwriting with that of the infamous note okay o observe the author's struggle to maintain verticality see the narrow and the two samples of handwriting do not match that's what i was saying yes so if spinelli's right of course spinelli's right it's spinelli oh my god it means i'm not as crazy as i thought I'm reluctant to spoil one happy realization with one a little less felicitous, but it, it also means that someone is really trying to blackmail you. Hi, are you thinking about shaving at a time like this? We're supposed to be helping Lulu figure out who's blackmailing you. No, I don't actually really have to shave that off. No, um, Occam's razor is, is a principle of logic attributed to a 14th century Franciscan friar, William of Occam. It, it states that when competing theories are equal in other respects, the simplest one is the best. Well, duh. And as I was saying, Lulu admitted to killing Logan in front of a whole bunch of people and no one believed her. That we know of. Yeah, but let's, I advise that we stick to what we, what we do know. Okay, a courtroom of people saw her lose her marbles. Uh, well, what, what about motive? What, what would someone have to gain? This is not about money. When is 
anything not about money when it comes to you. Clearly, you're feeling better. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean. Yes, you did. But it's fine. I'm a true capitalist. I know a good business deal when I see it, which is why I think we jumped to a bogus assumption. One that really would have ticked Mr. Akamoff, who, by the way, picked a pretty lame name for his principle of logic. Hey, um, the bogus assumption, though? Oh, that this is blackmail, because the note didn't ask for money. It didn't even hint at it. I think it did exactly what it was intended to do. Upset you and make you feel guilty. Who would want to do that? Hey, I help you, sir. These notes to make me worse. It means they want you stuck in this place. Would you stop that? I'm centering my chi so I can eliminate unblemished thought. I don't hear you coming up with anything that's useful. because you blocked my flow. Okay, no, that's okay. Look, I, I, I need some time to think about this. We all do. Um, my therapist is coming in for a session soon, but there's something that I have to go do first. Well, well, I, so. I, I, I vow I'll use all my power to discover the identity of the evildoer. Thank you. Both of you. You guys have helped me more than you know. <laughs> Guess what? I think I'm finally getting better. Don't you go putting your lack of chi on me. Oh. I'm sorry I forgot to sign in properly. Lulu's condition on my mind. I got a lot going on. Completely understandable. Have a good visit.